Love Them Knives channel. Welcome. LTK here. Today, DEFCON Barracuda. Thanks for dropping by. Got the DEFCON Barracuda. Got this because these are a new line, apparently, of knives. DEFCON, I'll give you the link to their website, but they have the Proelia knives, and then they have these Jungle Knife, the line of Jungle Knives. Actually, this is the TF3330-2, two being because this is kind of that greenish cast on this titanium uh, scales where you know you can have regular silver you can have a bronze or whatever and so instead of a dash two it'd be like a dash one or dash three whatever for the others in any case so barracuda is the model name as well and so you've got a d2 blade which we have tested uh in our testing facility and also um titanium frame lock flipper knife so i looked online at a white mountain carries these and it's a fairly new line um several of the guys have um emailed back and forth with me and said they were kind of excited about them they've got some and they they liked them a lot and you know you can do some piercing slicing it's really a usable blade They've milled out the pocket or the uh, flipper tab here. Got a little choil here for sharpening. So it kind of hit all those needs uh, in that area. And then, you know, the flipper tab, your finger lands in here. They've, they've chamfered away there, milled away an area there for a landing zone. So that's nice as well. Okay. It's centered. The blade is centered up. I don't have any lock rock or blade play, anything like that with the knife. Obviously, there's a hardened steel insert in here. And uh, let me grab my little cheater light, though. In here, right there, hardened steel insert with a detent ball. No weight relieving done inside here. But it's not a very heavy knife, and they've done a lot of uh, milling on the scales. Um, traction available here. You know, ergos are good. It's not an overly large knife, and it's not all that heavy, actually. So, blade stock doesn't look abnormally thick, so it should perform pretty well. And, you know, we did have the D2 tested. Let me pull some real quick uh, numbers here. This is my 3330 the O2 part with the green and uh, $69. So White Mountain Knives, I mean, you get a 10% discount when you use the discount code LTK. Therefore, you know, you're looking at about $62 or whatever and free shipping in the U.S. So that's that's pretty daggone reasonable, actually. Um, and also, here's kind of your specs here. Uh, closed length 4.75, three and a half inch blade, just kind of your your typical EDC size knife, D2, you know, that kind of thing. Um, don't know about the actual weight. Shipping weight might be a half pound, but I don't think the knife is. And there's some other models that are being made by DEF CON, so maybe we'll go and explore some of the other. Oh, by the way, while I'm on that whole feel uh two issues i'm gonna throw out here if i can if i can get the pages in front of me um here we go d2 steel it's real yeah and i put the model number up here but the hrc was 60.5 so that's really solid and here's your composition here so you can see yeah you're in the semi stainless range with the chromium at 12 percent that kind of thing so in any case, yeah, really good. And um, the scales, like I said, are titanium. Now, I mean, 
I'll be talking about this other model too soon. And I got this one. This is obviously a different model. This is the 5289. Uh, this is a S35 VN with carbon fiber, marbled carbon fiber. You can get this one on White Mountain as well for like 107. And that's before your 10% discount. So this is real S35 VN titanium frame lock. I mean, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Got a backspacer with a glass breaker and all that kind of stuff. So it's really uh, interesting, the different knives that they're coming out with. This one, like it a lot. Uh, over the detent ball, over the detent ball, and here we go. Eh, it's not a real free drop. I haven't done anything to uh, adjust the pivot, so click, yeah. Pretty solid, open design. There's your standoffs, spacers, whatever you want to call them. And there's your pocket clip, titanium. I'm not real big on, you know, having all these different pieces and parts with a pocket clip. I prefer kind of a one, one and done. I mean, this is like all integrated on this model. And this is what I prefer. That way, I mean, you've got a milled area to place the pocket clip in the scale so it's it'll stay. And then one screw. And it's really a more integrated look than this looks busy here to me. Okay. But it is what it is. I mean, it's right hand tip up carry only. Comes in this box. And so... You know, you got this little piece of foam in the top of the box and kind of weird how big and wide and flat these boxes are. But, and it actually, you know, has a little, you know, piece of plastic in here that it slides into inside of one of these little mm, kind of a felt. It's not microfiber, but like a felt type uh, drawstring pouch. And then you get a microfiber cloth, okay? And, well, an extra pivot screw and a couple of body screws and the tool for being able to dismantle it. So they put the little screws in here, you know, right there. And then the microfiber and the knife goes in the pouch in here. So, uh, what is that? $62 delivered after discount? I mean, whatever. That's That just seems to be really good. And no wonder these guys that I've been talking to have been really excited about it. Lockup looks really good. About 25%. So it's not overwhelmingly uh, strong over there. But yeah, it's solid. Yeah, you got some control here. Let's put it on a piece of paper. See if it'll do anything. Okay. Whoop. Yeah. So it's it's sharp, reasonably sharp from uh, production. Compare it to something. Let me see. How about my Manix? How about my modified Manix? So, it looks bigger, doesn't it? I don't think it is, though. Pretty much about the same size as the Manix. I think I can see that clearly. So, let's see if we got another knife out here. Maybe. My Hornet. And... When it all comes down to it, it comes down to just checking the stats that we saw on the White Mountain listing and making sure we're, we're good with three and a half inches, and we pretty much are. Down here, it looks like you almost got three and a half inch cutting edge. Overall, yeah, same size as like a paramilitary two, about eight and a quarter overall. 
and not quite 21 centimeters but getting close to it and uh, about 90 millimeter blade if I had fancy around here oh I know There's, there she is okay so pretty much the same size as the paramilitary two all right now an important thing of course is how much does it weigh while you have things like the paramilitary two weighing 3.8 ounces well how much does this weigh we're gonna find out right now uh 4.16 actually that's that's pretty good 117 about 118 grams not bad not bad I wonder let me see if I can get my all my stuff is buried over here sorry about that um, okay a little over three and a half about 3.7 millimeters which I'm surprised it's that fat I figured it'd be about about three and a half maybe 0.145 so that's pretty stout blade stock and uh, I can get these flat parts here. Let me see if I can get these flat. Okay. Um, wow. Fairly slender, actually. Let me see if that changes here. No, 0.43. So, you know, like the Para 2 is 0 0.45, 0 0.46. So, it would be basically in that range. Uh, 11 millimeters thick. So, it's not... A real fat fatty a lot of them we do are a half inch maybe 0.54 even up to 0.6 but this is pretty slender so yeah I like it I think it should be a really usable knife obviously you know the d2 is properly heat treated so it should give you good performance it's fairly lightweight it's got texturing on the scales. It feels good in the hand. Reverse grip is really good as well. You can feel that pocket clip. Yeah, this part of this pocket clip right here is kind of getting me right in here. So it's not a good place to meet. But it's not annoying. Um, but I can feel it. And it looks like you've got access to the pivot from both sides. Probably a number eight. And I don't know the size of these other screws. Uh, here's a number six. Let me see if... No, that's, that's, probably, that's probably an eight. That's an eight. Okay. See if it fits here. Nah, eight's too big. So these are number sixes here. I'm sure this is an 8. I would bet on it. Yeah, that's an 8. But now nah, the rest of these are number 6s. Kind of follows that formula. It seems like some of the people are starting to go to number 8s all the way around. But not these. Not a problem. Got bearings on the pivot. Good looking knife. What do you think? Make your comments. I don't know if you guys have any of these yet. Uh, but, uh, I think it's, uh, well, it's inexpensive. You know, you're really getting into the G10 range of some of these knives, you know. So, this is 52, uh, that's, but that's before discount. But, you know, so you got an extra few bucks, but you're getting titanium. So, it ought to be interesting to see how people respond to this DEF CON. And definitely, that S35VN model, um... God only knows that that just seems really crazy and expensive to me, doesn't it? To you, this one here, they didn't put the carbon fiber on the back side. That's not unusual for knife, you know, manufacturers to do. Uh, I can name a bunch, but uh, on the other hand, at 107 before you know, discount, I know I'm always throwing money out, but I mean, it is about money, it's about you know, value for the dollar. and these look like value for the dollar so check out the defcon lineup of knives uh on white mountain now they're carrying them 
since you do get the discount on top of these pretty reasonable prices um, and see if there's some different model that uh, gets you excited or interested at least and let me know what you think but I haven't done much cutting per se with these but they seem sharp and they've tested well so should be good thanks for hanging out i appreciate it take care you know what we do around here we love them knives so stay sharp